Hey, James Ellis here, and I have a bulging biceps video for you today. I didn't want you to have to run all over the gym for this little workout, so I actually just decided, hey, I'm gonna hop on this bicep free motion machine. So if you happen to have one of these at the, the gym that you go to, you're in luck. So what we're gonna do is we're going to train full biceps on this machine. That way you're not running all over the place. So how do you train full biceps? Well, it's called the bicep because there are two parts to the bicep. So we have the peak. So when I'm flexing, when my arm is like this, when I'm curling like this, I'm hitting the peak of the bicep. So that's one exercise that we're going to do. We're also gonna focus on hitting even lower on the bicep. So as you turn your wrist in and do a a hammer curl, it's called a hammer curl, you're gonna notice it hits lower on that bicep than when I was at the peak. So you're gonna begin to hit even lower on the bicep a little bit here on the outside. Now when I do a reverse grip, if I turn my wrist even further down, you're gonna notice it begins to lengthen even further and into the forearm. So then I'm hitting full bicep when I hit all three parts. When I do curls facing with the palms up, when I do curls facing with the palms in, and facing with the palms down. So I'm gonna show you those three curls that you can do right here on this machine and you can get that bulging biceps workout in and get some great biceps. So we're gonna start with, uh, I'll start with the palms up. Find a weight that works for you. As you can see, I have my Versa grips on. I love using the Versa grips because I simply wrap the Versa grips around and they help me not to lose my grip so my forearms don't hinder me from growing in the biceps or whatever area I'm training. So here, I'm just going to simply roll my shoulders back and I'm gonna curl up, down and up. I'm keeping my shoulders rolled back the whole time and my chest up. Exhale on the exertion. You're always breathing out as you flex the bicep. So if you begin to get tired, you can single back and forth. So that's going to hit the peak of the bicep. Now, if you're really trying to bulk up the biceps, I recommend a, re a rep range of 10 to 15. That's a really great range for bulking the biceps. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hit that hammer. So you notice my, my palms were up, so I was hitting the peak. Now we're gonna put the palms in so we can hit a little bit lower on that bicep and on the outside here. So I like to have my back facing the machine for this exercise. And of course, still wrapping the Versa grips around. Again, chest back. Now I'm gonna allow these to turn in. So as you can see, it's coming around my wrist, like around my hand like so. And we're just going to, again, keep the chest up, the shoulders rolled back. And you're just gonna curl back and forth. You can see that it's working lower on that bicep. You'll notice that you're not seeing the peak as much anymore, you're seeing lower on that bicep. So you could start by curling in like so. And then as you get tired, then you'll single back and forth. I have a light weight on there right now. It's not a weight I would do. I would go much heavier because I wanna do something that I'd only be able to do for 10 to 15 reps. So that's that exercise, hammer grip bicep curls. And now the final one is gonna be with that palm down, a reverse grip bicep curl. So I'll come on this side here. Again, this is where you really can use the Versa grips because I'm gonna do a reverse grip curl. So wrapping like so, and now I'm gonna step out, shoulders rolled back, chest up, and I'm just gonna curl. These are gonna be singles. So I would do this side for that 10 to 15 reps, really hitting low. I can even feel it deep in there and into my forearms. So curling up, keeping that shoulder rolled back, chest up, and then I would simply go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Shoulders roll back, boom. So, one thing you can also do that my buddy Eric the trainer loves to do is between sets, you flex. So, when I was doing those peak curls, when my palms were up, then I would do a flex like that for 10 to 15 seconds. That's mind-muscle connection. So, when you're flexing as tight as you can, that's sending the blood to the area that you trained. So then when I was doing the hammer grip, I would flex right here. Then when I was doing the reverse grip, I would flex with my palms facing down. So my muscle connection, that's a really great way to do it. Uh, the bodybuilders back in the day, they would do posing for hours. Well, if you just pose a little bit, 10 to 15 seconds between sets, it's kind of the same idea. And it's teaching your body mind muscle connection and sending blood to the muscles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this bulging biceps uh, workout. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I look forward to finding out what you think of the workout.